I'm here at the mission with my mom. We've been here for about a month now. Nobody knows I'm here. None of my friends know. I feel like I'd be judged or like people would just ask too many questions I wouldn't want to answer. So I'm just figuring just to keep it to myself. When we were living in our old apartment, my mom had lost her job and the rent was getting a little too expensive. So we just left. And for a while we couldn't find a place so we had to sleep in the back of her truck. And one of the things that people don't realize about homelessness is how hard everyday tasks can become. Where are you gonna sleep? What are you gonna eat? Where are you gonna take a shower? I'd be in the back of the truck doing homework while using my phone's hotspot. It was very, very challenging when you don't have a home. There is no doubt that affordable housing is a very difficult issue in Los Angeles. We're hundreds of thousands of units short. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Even people who are walking around with a voucher from LA County are having a hard time finding an apartment where the landlord will take a voucher. So it's a very difficult process, and that's why it takes a safe, stable place to stay in while you're searching for housing. So we just keep saying yes, we never say no, and that has caused us to fill up not only our fourth floor with families, but going into our fifth floor, fill up our chapel, and fill up our gym. We're overwhelmed with families, but we always say yes and we never say no. My mom is probably dealing with this harder than I am. Good morning, thank you. She prays a lot that things get better for us. She's very positive, but I feel like deep inside when I'm not around, she's sad that we've come this low. Something I've learned through this experience is nothing lasts forever, especially where you think you may live for the rest of your life. Anything could change in a matter of time. Like, you can't be so sure of anything. Good morning. Yes. How are you? We were assigned a case manager. Her name's Ms. Johnson. You know, the goal here is to get you some housing, get okay. you out of the shelter, yeah. you know, and headed on your better life. And I think it's awesome that she's helping us out, trying to find a place. And I'm just very thankful for her, for what she's doing. My mind's mostly focused on school and other things outside the Union Rescue Mission, like Boy Scouts, water polo, and swimming. My hopes for the future are to go to USC for medical school, study medicine, genes, hereditary diseases, maybe curing them. Skid Row is a living hell on earth. Since I've been here, I'm more mentally aware of my surroundings, especially when I'm leaving, and I'm opening my eyes more to see the other side of LA that nobody really talks about. Like seeing all these people who suffer from substance abuse, who need help, or who are just lost. I've been very grateful for what the shelter has done for me. So I'm feeling a little positive, a little more than I was. And my mom keeps telling me that this won't be forever. I'm so thankful Angel has not been discouraged by his bout with homelessness. He's uh, continued on going to school, being part of the water polo team enrolled in Boy Scouts, working his way toward an Eagle Scout, volunteering at the Vets Hospital. He hasn't let anything discourage him or keep him down. When we help stabilize a young man, they can continue to shine and grow and avoid homelessness in their future. Here's my new room in our new apartment. Right here is my bed where I sleep. Over there is my bookshelves. Over here is my computer where I do homework. And then over here is my Class A uniform for National Jamboree, which I'm leaving this Friday to West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York, and DC with about 20,000 other scouts. I'm gonna be representing LA County. My mom now, she's doing a lot better. She's more positive, she's more happier. We're starting to finally cook in our new place. I think that was the final thing to make her feel home is cooking her first dinner for me and her. I love you. I love you too. So very thankful for the Union Rescue Mission, for everything it's done for us.